Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club episode number 54 and today we start off with a story to explain why we're looking at this amazing book, Found, Not Lost, Elliot Erwitt. It's a book that I'd wanted to get since I was aware that it had been published and it's not one of the cheaper books, let's put it that way. Um, I don't think it's overly expensive for what it is, but it was a book that I was kind of saving for a special occasion and I'd also been, as you may have noticed, uh, somewhat absent from here for, for a couple or three months. Uh, due to a number of reasons which we won't go into but uh, I was feeling somewhat down in the dumps and then around about a month ago I got a really nice message and a donation on buy me a coffee from Vaughan Wallace and Vaughan was really the driving force behind Elliot's book Pittsburgh 1950 which coincidentally I published my video of one year and one day ago so um Vaughan had seen this this book, which he, you know, the, my sort of video about the book, which he'd been so much involved with, and had sent me a really kind note and, and a, a little donation through buying me a coffee. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself. It seems appropriate to treat myself to Found Not Lost by Elliot Erwitt. The introduction of which, <laughs> and I probably knew this, but I really knew it today when I uh, opened it up, as you can see, and, and got into it. The, the introduction of which is written by. Vaughan Wallace, who must have been working with Elliot uh, over the last few years, probably since the Pittsburgh project, if you want to call it that. And um, just, I'm really interested at the moment, kind of archive and looking back through previous works. In fact, that's what I'm doing with my final major project for my master's in photography that I'm doing. So it just seemed a really good time to look at this book, plus Elliot. So, I mean, it's pure win, isn't it? I'm just going to read you a few words from Vaughan's introduction. I mean, essentially, the premise is that uh, Elliot, in his 90s, was stuck at home for a couple of years and uh, took on the task of looking back through 600,000 images from his archive, which had not really been uh, published before. Uh, they whittled that down to 1,850, and then the 171 photos which make up this book were decided upon. Um, I love the note that we've seen, Don't Bother, Picks Useless, written in Elliot's own hand. And uh, I thought particularly interesting for my own photography at the moment from Vaughan's introduction. In that sense, this book is a record of a man mapping an undiscovered country, the hidden world of his own past. Here, Elliot sets aside all of those marvellous pictures of his that have shaped and enriched our visual world and instead summons hundreds of other images into the light, photos none of us have encountered before. We'll see dogs, we'll see humour, we'll see life, we'll see cars and children, we'll see many of the things that we associate with Elliot Erwitt, but we'll see them in a somewhat different way. Uh, Vaughan Wallace kind of concludes his introduction to the book um, by saying that Erwitt himself had kind of reassessed his own work, having seen the work for the first time um, as an old man, effectively. Um, Erwitt makes the pictures that he sees, and sometimes that's that. Here, in this book, are pictures that Elliot wants us to see. They've been in the dark, undisturbed, unremarked for decades. Now he's brought them into the light. If they were ever useless or not worth the bother, they're useless no more. Look at these pictures, then come back and look again. They're not going anywhere. And if you feel like treating yourself to this book, there's some affiliate links in the description below, and I think you're going to absolutely love it.
So really, with thanks to Vaughan Wallace, as much as to Elliot Erwitt, that remarkable book. Wow. I hope you loved it as much as I did. Obviously, a first look through for me for Found Not Lost, and it is as Vaughan was uh, sort of urging us in the introduction to the book that I'll be coming back to time and time again, as it just it just sits there. I mean, I don't know how many books of Elliot Erwitz I've got upstairs. I could go and count, but I think I might run out of fingers, if not fingers and toes. So, <laughs> so I mean, it's been a real pleasure to look through this. And uh, thanks again to Vaughan just for giving me that little bit of um, encouragement and uh, motivation that I was so sorely lacking. So thank you. That was really beyond my imagining. <laughs> 